Well, today actually we've got 15 of our lucky Groupon winners that are drawing Greg Rutherford um, for our life drawing class for charity. So it's for the male cancer awareness charity. And um, yeah, hopefully he's soon going to be uh, marking their artwork. I think it's a lot less about Groupon, a lot more around the charity. Um, so what we're hoping is that we've used the platform to raise awareness of male cancer. Um, it is a very curable disease. So fingers crossed a lot more people know a lot more about it now. Uh, my name is Tony. Uh, I run uh, a big organization in London for Live Drawing called the Live Drawing Society. Uh, it's a social network uh, where people uh, come to draw in different locations. Um, I'm just trying to keep them drawing as much as possible. Uh, it's the perfect model. I mean, he's uh, young, he's tall, he's uh, muscular. Uh, as a male model, he's absolutely perfect. My name is uh, Patrick Cox and I'm the founder and CEO of the charity Male Cancer Awareness Campaign. Uh, we're a small charity but we're deemed the UK's boldest, most daring and most innovative. This afternoon is uh, just a great, great chance to help raise awareness uh, for testicular cancer. To have someone like Greg you know, pose in front of you know, a whole lot of strangers, it's a big deal. Uh, but to have also have you know, Groupon supporters, like I said we're a small charity, so to have someone like Groupon, as big as they are, supporting us, we're, we're stoked. Greg's the balls, <laughs> he really is. Um, I think what's great is uh, we have an ambassador, you know, who's young, but also can inspire people, and that's really, really important. You know, uh, in the in the world of celebrities, there's people who are famous for the sake of being famous. We try to stick with people who inspire us, and Greg simply inspires us. What he done during the summer, you know, to win gold in front of the home crowd, uh, it's phenomenal. So yeah, we're absolutely amazed to have him on board, yeah. asked me to get on board and again it was something that I already knew a little bit about and um, was excited to, to try and help via the mediums of Twitter and, and just word of mouth I'll be promoting it hugely and, and again trying to get it out there that, that people have to get checked and, and make sure they check themselves regularly. Things like this I think are hugely important and if, if it takes things like this for or to raise awareness then I'm all for it. Yeah, I, think, I think all guys just need to have a bit of a fiddle and, uh, <laughs> and feel for any irregular lumps or, or bumps or anything or if there is any form of feeling in the area where they're not particularly comfortable again dull aches in the pit of your stomach and around your, your scrotum and that is, is something that needs to be checked out and it's, it's like it doesn't matter you just nip into the doctor to them it's their job so just go in go and have a look let them have a, have a feel and, and a check of you and if you're okay then at least you know but there's a chance if you, if you leave it too long then you, you, people do die of it so yeah. they need to just forget about the embarrassment of, of getting your bits and bobs out in front of a doctor because again ultimately it's their job they don't care they don't care what it looks like or what it is and their job to, to check you out and make sure you're okay and, and ultimately if there is something like a lump and a doctor says don't worry it's fine if you are concerned you have to pursue it and you have to go off and, and say I want this checked out properly Excuse